We all need some blood pressure to keep the blood flowing through our bodies and particularly to get the blood above our hearts and up to our brains. But too much blood pressure is bad for our heart health. It can lead to thickening of the heart muscle. It can lead to the buildup of fatty plaques and can even cause strokes. Well, salt is one of the main drivers of high blood pressure. And salt contains sodium and it's the sodium that attracts water into the blood that drives up the blood pressure. A healthy diet that's low in salt, low in sodium is what will help reduce your blood pressure. And that comes by eating lots of healthy foods like nuts, legumes, fresh fruit, fresh vegetables. It's also a diet low in added salt, so salt added to meals, added to the cooking of the meals, added to processed foods. And you can also think about substituting sodium salt with what's called potassium enriched salt, which is also marketed sometimes as heart salt or heart healthy salt. We should all be aiming for about 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise each week. So that's about 30 minutes of moderate exercise each day of the week. For blood pressure, also higher intensity exercise can be really helpful. It's important for thinking about exercise to choose really some exercise that you enjoy doing. For some people it's cycling, swimming, running, walking. Anything that you can do and sustain is the best way to go. Alcohol does a few things to raise blood pressure. Firstly, it contains a lot of calories. It causes us to put on weight that also leads to high blood pressure, but alcohol can also directly cause elevations in blood pressure. How much alcohol is a safe amount of alcohol? Well, there's more and more data coming out to suggest that any alcohol can be bad for our health, but certainly anything more than one drink a day is above what's recommended. But the bottom line is the less alcohol you drink, the better. Even one cigarette can drive up your blood pressure, and certainly in the longer term, Smoking and vaping are both associated with bad heart health by many, many different means. And that includes the building up of fatty plaque in the walls of the arteries, and also so many other bad effects on our health, lung cancer, just to name one. So it's really important to quit smoking, quit vaping, and if you need help with this, please talk to your doctor. There's so much data now to show that getting less than seven or more than nine hours sleep or getting poor quality sleep is linked to a whole bunch of changes that are not good for our heart health, including elevated blood pressure. It's important to think about having good sleep hygiene, cutting down on screen time, minimizing or eliminating alcohol, avoiding caffeine, and having a really good pre-bedtime routine to get you in the right frame to get that optimum sleep. All the things we've spoken about so far, including diet, exercise, reducing alcohol, reducing salt, are all so critically important for controlling blood pressure. But for some people, it's still gonna be important to go onto medications to really get proper blood pressure control. Blood pressure medications have been around for decades and they're incredibly safe. So if you need those therapies, please talk to your doctor because they can really make a difference.